just yeah. like a red carpet. And these two are in the series. Oh and my so gosh, really? <laughs> special guests too. Wow. Yes. All right. Hey, I'm Alec Fisher. I'm here with Mayor Jacob Fry, and we're at the Twin Cities Film Fest, uh, premiering my docu series, COVID Confessions. I'm super excited to have you here. Thanks for being here. I'm excited to be here. This is incredible. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yes, and you know this is a project I filmed back in 2020, 2021. Um, highlights essential workers in different industries, and I'm just, you know, it's about bringing people together to celebrate their stories and, and all that. So I'm just curious, you know, from your perspective, what's the importance of highlighting essential workers and, and local stories on that level, and just giving them a space to see, see, be seen, and have their stories heard. If you think back to the time when our city, the entire world, shut down, so many, so much of this was like a new frontier. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what to anticipate. And we certainly didn't know necessarily the consequences of all of our actions. And there were a whole lot of us that had the opportunity to stay home and do takeout and get our groceries delivered. Meanwhile, there were people making the takeout and delivering the groceries. There were people working in our grocery stores to make sure that not just our economy continued to function, but that people were able to live. And they need to be highlighted. Their stories need to be highlighted. The, the difficulty and at times trauma that they went through because they truly were on the front lines needs to be highlighted. I'm so proud that you took the initiative in order to do that and to tell their story. Of course, and it's, it's exciting that we're all be able to gather today and, you know, and, and restrictions have been lifted. And you know, I'm excited we've got folks who are in the audience who are in the series. And, and you know, I think it's, it's just awesome, you know, especially highlighting local productions for this to have happened. Um, one of the things I noticed when I was filming is there was a lot of national conversation in this, but not a lot of local. So um, I'm also curious, you know, from your perspective, what's the importance of highlighting local stories? A lot of this has gotten national, the series has gotten national attention lately, which has been awesome. But, you know, bringing local to national audiences, what's the importance of that? When you're simply focused on what's happening nationally, you get sort of detached from the individual. Uh, people become a, another statistic. Uh, and when you focus on what's happening locally and you're able to dig into someone's individual experience, it gains a whole kind of another persona. You make it more human. Uh, and the experiences that we all had throughout COVID-19 were very human. They were the epitome of, 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 of human interactions, for, for better or for worse. And I think it's important to tell those stories, and you're doing that. Well, I appreciate you being here. Uh, that's, that's my question for now, and we're excited to have you see some of the stories and, and participate. So thank you for being here. Thank I appreciate you so it. much, Al. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.